What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Horror Chronicles. I'm your host, Ryan, and with me, as always, JT. What's up, everybody? And this is a special episode. Oh, it's special, all right. What is so special about this episode, Oh, my JT? God, it's Halloween, the number Ooh, one day of the year. Halloween, baby. I am so excited. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. And uh, this episode, we're just kind of going to do a little, you know, why we love Halloween, what some uh, stories of Halloween, why we do certain things on Halloween, and uh, just kind of... Give our appreciation for the holiday. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. So, how much do you know about Halloween? I mean, I know the... the. I guess I would say I know the generic most of you that you would possibly think someone would know, you know. Yeah, that's average, probably where I'm at, too. You know, I I know kind of... I'll fix my hair. Different, <laughs> make sure you fix your hair for the ladies. <laughs> that they can't see us. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, I know some of the stories that are reasons why Halloween. Like, you know, it's a whole uh, conspiracy because the government, because <laughs> the, the candy stores need to make money. Uh, <laughs> wrong answer. Yeah, you know. Uh, All Hallows' Eve. Uh, you know, it is All Hallows' Eve. You know. Which is followed by All Saints' Day. Yes, you were telling me that. Then. There's some stuff I didn't yeah. know you were telling yeah. me about the other day, so. Yeah, um, I don't know everything about it, but I, I absolutely love Halloween, so I've read numerous things about it i've watched numerous shows about it i mean i guess i'll start off like as far as for me the reason why i love halloween is uh for me when i was younger i already dressed up like a damn vampire hunter yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. i just look normal on that You're night brother i look normal on that night but uh no because I, I was pretty much one for every hell for all right. every halloween i was the same right. thing but uh no for me man it was kind of like a uh like I was talking about on previous podcast, it lets you know something else is out there. You get that feeling that yeah. something that there's oh, yeah. that there's more to reality than there is. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, when you're a kid, you want to be scared. Every, I mean, people can say they don't want to, but I'm gonna say ninety five percent of people like to be Ooh, scared. I want to be scared. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. They like they like to be scared. So for me it was kind of, you know, that that feeling that anything can happen, dude. This is a night the dead can walk. This is a night that the demons and ghosts and all kinds of things are coming to the earth and uh i love that stuff still do to this day yeah me too for me it started out as probably like it does for everybody you know little kid you know you look at mom and you're like are you kidding i get to dress up that's uh, you know as something that i am not and go from door to door and people are going to give me candy yeah hell yeah <laughs> sign me up you know but then the older i got I started seeing the more creepy aspect of Halloween mm -hmm. and the darkness of it. And the older I got as I got into my teen years, I learned a lot about, you know, the the veil is lifted on Halloween and it's the one day of the year where the dead are supposed to be able to roam the earth. And, mm -hmm. You know, and that stuff just... Oh, I loved it. Yeah, loved it's, it. like I said, it's just that weird, it's that feeling that you get, man. Yeah, and, um, oh yeah. It's the feeling that you get and the way everyone else is out there enjoying themselves. It's just kind of, it's kind of weird in a way because everyone's having a good time, but it's supposed to be creepy and freaking. Right, right, you know, right. Which for us, that's what we, yeah. that gives yeah. us a good time is the creepy stuff. Yeah. So, I mean. You know, if you really get into the history of Halloween, though, Halloween actually revolves around a pagan holiday. Mm -hmm. um, it is it, it is written as Sam Hain, but it's actually pronounced Sal Wynn. Um, it was the end of the harvest, which usually came around the end of October. Mm -hmm. It's when the time of the year where it's you're transitioning from summer to winter, and the Celts started this tradition that it was the time of the year where they would bring their the shepherds would bring their sheep closer to home people didn't want to leave home because it was dark you had a you know the mortality rate was a lot lower at that time of the year and and you know it just it basically it revolves around a pagan holiday yeah yeah i i, I, I kind we'll of talk remember about christmas later yeah <laughs> I kind of remember remember uh, that aspect yeah. of it because I I, I kind of got into paganism stuff, mm -hmm. you know. I, I like yeah, and you know we're talking eight hundred years ago. Uh, you know these people truly did believe that there was 
bad spirits coming after them. These people would have huge bonfires and they would dance around the bonfires and they'd wear masks. Uh, the masks were supposed to keep the spirits from attacking them. Noticing that they were human or... Right, right, right. The You know, and the bonfires, of course, lit the night. And then they would even do, like, animal sacrifices and... You know, they'd even mm-hmm. sacrifice some of their fruit and vegetables to the gods. Yeah. They would burn them in these <clears throat> huge bonfires. I did learn, though, that it was during the festival of Samhain, they would, all the people in the villages would extinguish their their cooking fires. And then they would build these huge bonfires in the woods. Uh, everybody would go to these bonfires to celebrate after the bonfires were done at, at the end of the evening, the uh, guess there's no other word for it other than the grand marshal of the festival or whatever would give each person an ember of coal. They would take that coal back to their house to restart their cooking fires because back then everything revolved around the cooking fire. It, you know, it cooked your food, it heated your home, everything for survival kept you alive. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. Know? So these people. What they did is, is they would, they would carve turnips. They would carve faces and turnips, and put lights on them. Okay, and they would put these on their front porch, and it was to ward off evil spirits. Well, then as time progressed, they got into this thing called souling, and what would happen is, is these, basically, they were beggars. They would go from ta- go from house to house, and they would offer up a prayer for. A soul cake, hence a treat, and then you know eat it. Of course, that's where the tradition of trick or treating came from. Gotcha. So you know, you fast forward a few hundred years, comes to America. Well, in America, they decided that a turnip was too hard to carve. You know, and, and we had an overabundance of pumpkins. So then they started carving pumpkins, and we're going to get into the story about jack o' lanterns here in a minute. So we started carving pumpkins and would put these pumpkins out on our porch. And then we basically modernized the whole dressing up in costume and going from house to house trick-or-treating. And that's kind of a brief history of Halloween. Yeah, now we just get to have fun on Halloween. Now now we get to have fun. You know, But it was not truly meant as a fun holiday yeah, it was kind it of like was, a serious deal it like, was like oh death. my god i you know if i don't do things right i'm gonna die yeah you know yeah. i'm not gonna survive the winter um is really how it all started i like the new story better <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too me too it, no i love it I especially love it. the 2018 version which is just killing the box office right now oh yeah <laughs> gotta throw some michael myers on there always halloween is halloween you know i um I, you know, it's kind of crazy because I grew up kind of, you know, not poor. My mom worked her butt off and stuff, but like we didn't have a whole lot. She had five, we had five kids, you know, my mom and dad had five kids and, you know, we didn't have the best of everything. Like until, uh, until I was old enough to be able to be a frog brother, like I was every single year from then on, uh, we were, pre- I was pretty much a different Ninja Turtle every Halloween which was basically my well, mom. I want to see you as Donatello. <laughs> which was my mom taking whatever color shirt that we wanted to be the Ninja Turtle and cutting out the headband and there making, you go. making the eyes, well, making the yeah. mask for us, which is cool. I loved it, dude. You know, as a kid, I didn't care. And yeah. I still don't, to be honest with you. Right. I do not care where something comes from. I don't. That's not me. I'm, mm-hmm. But I like, I mean, you're going to pay for a cool mask, you're going to pay for a cool mask. I got some... Uh, costumes that are like pretty expensive right i mean that you would say but you know um anyway i i love the i love the entire atmosphere of halloween man oh yeah you know yeah. something that um i was thinking i was thinking about when we did the uh night of the demons podcast you know we mm-hmm. were talking about uh the atmosphere of of movies and the and the yes and kind of like um uh what makes us feel certain ways about stuff and when and even in the first ep- episode that we did the introduction to us and stuff we were talking about um how it makes you feel it brings back the nostalgia kind of right, feeling you know right. and i remember well, i was watching halloween of course the original um just a few days ago 
And uh, there's a scene where, um, oh, what was it? Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is coming across the road. Yeah, Lori. Lori. She's coming across the road looking for her friend because she's babysitting the two kids. And right. she's like, what the hell is going on? Mm-hmm. Well, as she's walking across the road, the wind blows. The wind blows her hair back a little bit. And she kind of just like grabs her shirt, kind of pulls it, you know, mm-hmm. to her. So it's the, and that's why I love this time of year too. The the, the actual atmosphere, the yeah, way the it feels outside. In the air and... That brought it out perfectly. She didn't say nothing. Right, you know, you didn't, hear, you didn't see no. It, it was just you see her coming. The wind blows her her. You can see it perfectly. Mm-hmm. Blows her a little bit, and then she kind of. I, I love that, dude. That's that 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 shows exactly what I'm talking about. Basically, when I say, even just the way it feels outside to me this time of year, you know, which kind of sucks now up here because we're not really getting that the average fall weather. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I mean, it is what it is. Today was a really good day. But anyway. Um, it's funny that you talk about that scene and, you know, her shivering and as she's going across. Yeah, that movie was filmed in Pasadena during the summer. See, it's crazy, <laughs> man. See, and it, it just, but it gives you that. Yeah, yeah. You know? But there's so much atmosphere in that movie, people never know. Yeah, and that's what's cool about it. Like, just mentioning that to me, I didn't know that. And that's cool because then you're you're getting a totally different. Right. Still giving you I could you that. ruin that movie for a lot of people. Yeah, so shut up. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, you know, we this is why we love Halloween, guys. And this day is like kind of an important day for a lot of people. And that's why we, that's one of the reasons why we made this podcast yeah. is so that people can eventually come on here or give us their stories or whatever, and we can get it out there and everybody can communicate. Yeah, and send us an email. Yeah, please send us an email yeah. or send us, you know. The Horror Chronicles at gmail.com. Send it to us. And um, if you're cool with it, we'll read it on, on the podcast yeah, here. Yeah, for sure. You know, sure. I, I eventually, we eventually, I should say, we eventually want to be able to uh, communicate with you guys, even hopefully sometime via the phone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or, or Skype. Or, or Skype. Or, or someone's yeah. nearby. Hell, we're going to bring you on the damn podcast. For sure. You know, it, that's the that's the cool thing about this, and um, we've already had a few people want to yes, come in and yep. sit down with us. Yeah, and I mean, um, you know, there's there's going to be so much more coming, but um, back to the great holiday that it is. Um, why don't you get us a little history on the old jack o' lantern? Oh, jack o' lantern. So, okay, so we already talked about how the Celts used to carve turnips. Uh, and they would put them on their porch or, you know, sometimes they would hang them from a stick and they would parade in town with their mask on and their little turnip with a, you know, little little candle in it or a little coal ember or whatever. But uh, the, uh, the legend of the jack-o'-lantern uh, comes from a guy named Stingy Jack. Stingy Jack was a prankster. He liked to play jokes on everybody. And... One day, he played a joke on the devil. He talked the devil into climbing an apple tree. And after the devil climbed the apple tree, Stingy Jack put crosses underneath the tree so that the devil couldn't get back down. And he made the devil promise him that when he died, he wouldn't take his soul. And when the devil finally promised him, then Stingy Jack removed the crosses and let the devil come down. Years later, Stingy Jack passes away. He goes to heaven, and St. Peter's won't allow him in heaven because he was such a prankster and just a mean guy. Uh, So they won't allow him into heaven, so he shows up in hell. Well, the devil doesn't want him either because of the trick that he played on him. So he sends him out of hell. Well, Stingy Jack is like, well, how am I going to see? It's total darkness here. So the devil scoops up an ember of coal and tosses it to him. So Jack picks up a turnip, and he cuts a face out on the turnip and puts the ember of coal in the turnip and then uses it as a lantern to light his way. And now he is forced to roam the earth for the rest of his days because he has nowhere to go. So he wanders in the darkness with a turnip with the ember of coal in it. And that, my friends, is why we light jack-o'-lanterns on Halloween night. Yeah. 
Stingy Jack. <laughs> it's a cool, I mean, that's a pretty cool story. It's kind of a cool story. There's another variation where he, uh, ta- he's walking down the street with the devil and he talks the devil into turning himself into a coin that he's going to give to the church people. So the devil, who can turn into anything, turns into a coin and jumps into his wallet. Well, what the devil didn't know is, is he had a cross in his wallet. And, you know, same kind of thing. You know, I'll remove the cross if you promise to not take my soul. Yeah, yeah that, there's there's so many cool freaking stories. Not a lot of people have heard that story. Yeah, man, and that, I, that's the first time I heard it. I think it's awesome, you know. And speaking of, like, uh, we were talking about costumes earlier. There's a lot of posts on Facebook, and some of you, some of you guys may have seen them. You know, you might be on the same same pages and stuff, but like the old school Hall- Halloween. Oh, the old like, like I'm talking black and white. Like, oh yeah, those are creepy. The, even oh my god, the what was the the type of photos they took? They were the the steel, the actual metal photos. It yeah, like, it was. Uh, I can't remember the name. I used to know them, and I can't for like me. Yeah, remember. I don't remember what, but, but like the antique photos and stuff. Yeah, I mean, they they're freaking Halloweens are all hand. Their costumes are all handmade. Okay, this bitch looking through the window is creeping me out. I told you, dude. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> My wife got bought this uh, Halloween thing, and it's uh, it's the head of a woman, and it's like she's peeking at you through the window. And but I just looked over and saw it, and it kind of startled me i noticed that uh as soon as i walked in here and i uh looked at the window i'm like holy holy shit oh wait that's a <laughs> it got me it got me yeah it's kind of cool kinda but cool. uh yeah the the older halloween costumes dude were all handmade and they were they, oh, they were super creepy, creepy. creepy. well and, and a lot of people dressed up as ghosts or skeletons or you know some of them were witches but mm-hmm. um there was a story about witches on why witches are you know, part of Halloween, and it had to do with the Celts and the bonfires. And what what they had talked about is they build these bonfires on top of hills. Well, if the moon was full, it would be behind the bonfire, and these people dancing around the bonfire with staffs in their hands and you know torches and stuff. It kind of you know looked like women riding broomsticks. <coughs> So the guy runs down the hill and tells all the villagers, tells all the villagers, what is this, Frankenstein? But anyway, (laughs) runs down the hill, tells all the villagers that there's witches flying on broomsticks on the top of the hill. And they kind of think that may be why witches are associated with Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. There's just so much. There's just, I mean, to get... Sorry, I went off in left field there. Oh, no, hey, it's... Because I got some costume stuff I want to talk about. Well, there you go. Talk all about it then. So, (laughs) when I was a kid, and it's funny, I I don't remember the name of these things. They were like, oh, Drew something. There was a specific company that used to make Halloween costumes, and it was a little plastic mask with a piece of elastic that went around the back of your head. And then, like, the, the it gave you, like, a full body costume. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. It, it was like a paper or a really thin plastic or whatever, and they were always in a cardboard box. That's what we had growing up. And I remember when Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which has nothing to do with Michael Myers, but it is a good movie. Uh, when it came out, that movie... Uh, revolved around three masks, uh, a witch, a pumpkin, and a skeleton. Uh-huh. Or, you know, witch, a pumpkin head, and a skull. Yeah. Uh, and I remember that they released those to the public shortly after the movie came out, and oh, I wanted dude. one of those so bad. But when I was young, we didn't have a lot of money, and them things were really expensive. I think back then they were like 30 bucks or something dude, like that, that, and that was a lot of money. Yeah. You know, back then, uh, you know, nowadays, uh, you know, it's it's crazy the way uh, the way costumes are. We went to a party city just about a month ago, uh, and just went up there looking through stuff, you know, just to get ideas. And they had an oogie boogie mask. You know who? Oogie yeah, oogie boogie is? from uh, night or the, Before Christmas, Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So this oogie boogie mask, just the head was fifty five dollars yeah oh yeah what yeah i got my uh, have you seen my you seen my werewolf yeah, yeah right yeah. i got it out actually out of my jeep because i was just scaring the piss out of kids last night nice. on a on a uh hayride 
Uh, and my wife, by the way, killed it. Oh, my God. She looked amazing. Once I get the actual pictures, I know I posted up one before, but that was with, separate from the the outfit. Like, she got the whole costume done. And once I figure out, for some reason, it's not letting me load. But anyway, once I get those loaded, you guys will see. She freaking nailed it. Oh, yeah. She nailed looked it. fantastic. But, the, but um, my costume, my werewolf costume I have, it's like, it was probably like close to 200 bucks. Oh, my God. And I mean, but the mask on it's cool because like the, with the mask, it wraps around your head. It looks just like a werewolf, but you can literally open the mouth and shut the mouth. You can make the jaws like just, or the lips, you can make the lips quiver. That's cool. Like, That's dude, cool. it's, it's, I mean, I understand why it's that much, but yeah, it was, yeah. it was one of the years I spent quite a bit of money um, on a, on a costume, you know, but what's cool. Another cool thing that I did, I you guys remember me telling you about um, I did a wedding for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, that on that one, I went and got my face done because I was a basically a zombie clown, so to speak, or a dead clown, really, because basically the way I had it set up was I was a clown, and it was super creepy. I'll post a picture up. I got pictures of it. I'll post it up for you guys um, on our Facebook page. Just check us out. If you haven't checked us out, we got a Facebook page, um, Horror Chronicles Podcast on Facebook. You just type us in, you'll find us. Um, I uh, the guy who did my face paint and prosthetics and all that was the same guy who did the face the uh, prosthetics for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street: New Nightmare. Wow. He well, was the one. He's the one. Impressive. He's the one that designed. He showed me all of his pictures. He's like, yeah, dude. He's like, have you seen New Nightmare? I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, who hasn't? Yeah, and he's like, well, check this out, and it was him. At the studio that he worked for, that's he's cool. the one that came up with the design for it and did all that. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and the way he did my, you guys will see. I'll post them up on our Facebook page. It's it's killer. It looks yeah. awesome. It's yeah. awesome. That is cool. I mean, you know, it, it, it's it's weird how costumes have changed so much over the years. When did we cross that threshold to where women's costumes all had to be sexy? I'm you not, got a sexy witch, a sexy wolf. Sexy Dracula, sexy, uh, sexy, sexy, sexy. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I get it completely, ah, and I money. support it completely, and I do not agree with him on any of this. I think it should happen, <laughs> and it should keep on happening. Well, you know, the sexy Jason is kind of weird, but my wife went a sexy Freddy Krueger one time, and she was very sexy, and I still have the outfit, and it's still in use. Do you wear it though? I do not. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's still in use. Yeah, cool. I don't want to cool, go too cool. far on this, but cool. uh, yeah, we keep our Halloween costumes, and sometimes it gets a little yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I do get it. Believe me, I get it. But to me, Halloween is all about the scare. Oh yeah. And the, you know, yeah. for me, uh, you know, growing up, my my brother in law uh, absolutely loved Halloween. And him and I would get together every year at his house, and we would, like, totally decorate his house. And then he would usually dress up as a werewolf. I usually dressed up as Jason. And basically, he would scare the kids up towards the house, and then I would come around the corner of the house with a chainsaw going and chase them down the street. And, man, we had a blast. We did that for years, you know. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, he passed away about 10 years ago, and that's kind of why I still do it now. I do a huge Halloween display at my house every year. And we're going to put some pictures of that up on Facebook as well. Uh, And, you know, I have a lot of people out. You know, it's not really a party. No, it's just a gathering. It's a gathering, you know, and we just have a good time. We make a bonfire out, you know, out in the driveway, and it's, you know, I kind of live in the woods, but... Uh, you know, we make a bonfire to honor the Celts. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. Yeah. Uh, we do it because it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's be real. <laughs> but uh, but the one of the cool things that I do, and, you know, I'm sorry, I think this is cool. I still have my brother-in-law's costume that he wore every year, and I put it out every year to honor him. Yeah, man. And uh, he still sees it because guess what? He, he still sees it. Because guess what? On Halloween... Yeah. All Hallows Eve, they can still come. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome. See, I love that stuff, man. Yeah. Like, uh, it's uh, for me. I never got. To be honest with you, I never got scared of costumes. When I, even when I was a kid, like I never, I was never scared of the costumes. Yeah. Um, what got me was the real stuff, the realness. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, the yeah. realness got me. Like, um, 
I've always been that way, though. For me, I don't get scared. Like, it sounds weird. I'm not trying to be cliche or tough guy or something. But, like, even whenever I have my own ghost hunting team, which you're going to see eventually because you're going to be going out with us because yeah. yeah. we're going to start the stuff back up. But, um, which is going to be something. We'll which is going to be really cool. That's something I've always wanted to do. And it's something that you guys are going to be finding out about because there's going to be a lot more to come with this podcast, guys. We're going to branch out on some things and we're going to. Like I said, we want to build up this horror family. And Ooh, can we get those cool little cameras that you carry on your head and with the microphone? Oh, yeah, and, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like, I just, I never got scared. I, I walk into haunted places by myself or supposed <laughs> haunted places and all that jazz. Like, I just, uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. You know, for me as a kid, uh, I don't know. I, I was I was afraid. I was scared. Um. I still remember the the first haunted house I ever went into. Well, I'm scared, sure you, scared me to death. You probably still remember um, the first Halloween. <laughs> uh, I do. I do. I'm just joking. Uh, He's not that old. I do. It was, you know, <laughs> several thousand years ago. No, no. no it wasn't that long ago. But uh, yeah, I remember, like, uh, you know, I grew up in the city of St. Louis and, you know, lived in a decent neighborhood, you know, it wasn't a rich neighborhood by no means, but it was, it was a nice neighborhood. And I remember there was a house a block down from ours that every year they did like a little haunted house and it, it was nothing special by no means, you know, not by today's standards, but back then freaked me out. I wouldn't go in there. My sister went in there. She's about six years older than me. She went in there and she kept telling me about how cool it was, but I was you know, I was like <laughs> yeah. five or six years old. I'm like, I'm not going in there. You're crazy. You know, yeah. Um, but yeah, the first haunted house I ever went into, uh, they said I was pretty much in shock whenever I came out of there. Oh, wow. Wouldn't talk to anybody. And now I absolutely love them. You know, you know, uh, and you, I guess I should, I should rephrase that because there are things that I'm afraid of or that I fear, mm-hmm. but I guess I just go past it. Well, I fear say, is in all men. I mean, I, yeah, if you, if you say you're not scared or you're not afraid of something then you're just either you're michael myers or <laughs> you yeah. you got something wrong with you because like yeah just this morning i saw a spider and i screamed like a girl <laughs> uh i see that some of the times it looks my wife gave me and it kind of puts me in a state of fear <laughs> but uh <laughs> but anyway i uh yeah i guess i i do feel fear but it's i guess it's the way you go about it you know what you do after you feel that fear and yeah. i think martial arts really got me to move past that stuff because when i was younger you know it sounds crazy we lived on like five acres which doesn't sound like a lot but when you're five years old or six years old five acres is like hey you got the whole world yeah you know yeah. it's all wooded we live in this trailer out in the middle of nowhere and um it's all wooded and stuff and me and my brothers me being probably seven years old and my uh, my one of my younger brothers he was probably six and my youngest was probably three or four, right? We're running around this five acres, just us three, sneaking around at night. Like, sneaking out of the house. Like it was nothing. Just sneaking around yeah. these acreage because we run it all day long so we know the land. Well, you know, when you're younger, though, you don't you don't fear things. Like, you don't fear your own mortality yeah, like and, you do when you get older. And you don't know. You don't. You know, you know it's and like... And that's why you don't fear yeah, it. Yeah, you don't hear no stories of, right. oh, well, you don't go out in the woods because there's a werewolf out there. Man, you don't hear I'm, that. I'm forever, you know, we'll see something on the news and be like, I don't remember ever hearing about anything like that when I was a kid. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I mean, there's a lot of things you need to be worried about nowadays, but it's real real stuff that, yeah. you know... But anyway, we're and not going to get into the psychopaths. That. Yeah. Gonna we're not going to get into that. We're going to stay... Yeah, this positive. is all about Halloween and having a good time. Yeah, but so for me, man, I still... I still love it. My sons, um, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they get into it. Uh, it's kind of weird. My oldest, he loves scary movies, loves mm-hmm. them to death, wants to watch them all the time. I've actually restricted him now. He hasn't watched a scary movie in like two and a half weeks. He's going through withdrawals. Oh my God. I so, would be too. Yeah. So, well, you know, he's, he's, he, he needs to learn to take it slow. Yeah. He wants to. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. but especially anyway. at you know at a young age like that. I mean, it's yeah. You know, but the thing that's weird you got about your whole it, life in front of you. There's a lot of horror out there. A lot. And he, it, I'm gonna start him off. Well, I'm gonna keep him away from it for a while. Then I'm gonna start him off with the goosebumps and are you scared of the dark stuff? There and you go. Stuff like that, you know. But uh, my thing is, is he he likes dressing up kind of, but he doesn't. Mm-hmm. He 
I, he hasn't got the whole grip of what Halloween is yet. Yeah. You know, and what sucks is the way I, the job I work and my wife work, we work like 12 hours a day. So, yeah. and Halloween always, I'm waiting on it to be on a weekend. Yeah, and we'll have yeah, a, you know, but he's going to learn. He's going to learn. And my youngest, he likes dressing up. So he loves wearing costumes. He'll wear around the house just every day. He'll walk yeah. around with his Batman yeah. costume on. He's only, not even two yet, but he loves it. Loves so. Cool. Lucy walk around going, um, Batman. He does say Batman all the time. It's funny. He says he picks up everything. He's so smart with it. So I can't, I gotta watch what I say because I got the worst mouth. You guys, I mean, you hear some stuff on our episodes, but like, that's nothing. Am I, I got a mouth like a sailor. And what's the reason why I believe is because I didn't cuss at all, especially from my mom, till I was like 21. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I was like, went and said fuck it yeah. <laughs> and then and then now like i use the f word for every kind of yeah. noun adjective adverb verb but yeah. all of that <laughs> i've even used it as a comma yeah i yeah and a period yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the best period you could ever use in your yeah, life it's the most versatile word in the human language <laughs> but yeah i mean i'm hoping to install that love for halloween in my kids i however i don't want them I'm not going to push it on anything on them. I'm not going to push no, anything no. on them. But I hope they get that because for me, that'll keep them. I think what, I mean, I'm only 32 years old. Let's get real. I'm not that old. However, I feel. God damn, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, we won't even go into that. But uh, <laughs> I feel that, um, I feel like I'm a teenager. I wake up every day and I still feel yeah. like I'm a teenager, you know? And I think that's because... Yeah, I, st- I feel like it was just yesterday that I was 32 years old. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But, uh, but uh, you know, it keeps that Im- it keeps that imagination alive. Yeah. I think yeah. Halloween really That's a good way that, to put it, that imagination. You it, know? That anything's possible, yeah. you know? And that's, yeah. that's the real, for me, that's the real meaning of it. Like, oh, my God, I just saw Willy Wonka dance by... In the world of imagination. Oh, man. Oh, God. Were you on acid? No, well, maybe. <laughs> maybe it was those... Uh, the DMT? DMT, yeah. You on a yeah. DMT there trip? There you go. There you go. <laughs> wow, we brought that up twice in, yeah. in a row. That's crazy. <laughs> Got to get that? a hold of some of that stuff. Yeah. Um, that make Halloween real interesting. So... Uh, was there ever a time so we all know we loved halloween as a kid Mm -hmm. you know uh early teens absolutely loved halloween was there ever a time in your life that you remember you were just like eh, it's halloween never see i'm the same way i hear people talk about that all the time in fact i was listening to a podcast the other day and they were talking about halloween and how you know once they got to high school they didn't really care too much about halloween i mean they still celebrated it but it was like eh, you know you gotta realize whatever you're talking to a guy who's at the age of okay i guess whoever's listening to is listening to whatever but you can talk to a guy who at the age of, between the age of probably 10 and 15, before I got my driver's license, I was riding around dressed, uh, not even dressed up. I thought for sure I was a freaking vampire hunter, dude. So That's like, awesome. So, I mean, you're talking to that. I'm that type of cat. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I, I can honestly tell you, I have never had, I've never had not loved Halloween there was one year, and I was on a, the year that I had that my um, first son was mm-hmm. was born, that I was kind of uh, not really not thinking about it. I thought about it, but it, there was so much going on that I couldn't do nothing. So I'm like, mm-hmm. oh shoot, it's already Halloween, man. I haven't done anything, right? You know. Right. So I watched a scary movie, and that's what that was that. But um, other than that, no, dude, I I freaking love it. Ooh. I love it, you know. Yeah, you know, it's funny this year. Um, I usually am adamant about having all my Halloween stuff out on the 1st of October, uh, and it stays out for until usually the first or second weekend in November is when I take it all down, because we have family and stuff that comes out, and they want to see it. But uh, this year, I kind of was behind. I had a lot going on, and, you know, well, I mean, just, like, didn't get it, just didn't get it up, but... Uh, you know, now it's now I'm in full swing. But it's funny you talk about you talk about movies. So uh, about two weeks ago, I, you know, this was the kid in me. I sat and watched one of my favorite, well, two of my favorite Halloween specials from when I was a kid. I watched uh, 
Ichabod Crane and the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, uh-huh. the Disney version. Uh-huh. And then I watched uh, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And immediately I was like, Halloween's in full swing. Yes, you know? and you know what's great? That's funny because like for me, I always remembered the Simpson Halloween episodes. Yeah, Treehouse of Horror. It's uh, my wife and I were watching earlier today. Uh, they're doing a marathon on those. I love stations. those, man. I absolutely love, and I still do. Yeah. I still love them. Yeah. Those, I remember those every year. I remember those, and uh, I look forward to them. Like, yeah, man. I mean, and I'm. That's one thing that keeps me in it now is a doing a podcast. You know, yeah. so like. Yeah. And then, then that's another reason why we're doing this is because it gives us a reason to celebrate the thing that we love. Yeah. It gives us an outlet. You, you know, know, we we talk about this kind of stuff all the time anyway. You know, it's either it's either this or music or you know, uh, this beating or music. somebody's ass or yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But you know, this just kind of gave us a way to sit and force you guys to listen to our conversation. Yeah, and then. I know these are our first few, but hopefully we we're really really pushing on getting people on here, getting calls, and getting stories from other people, and you know? getting better at this, and getting way better. And we will. We're gonna get way better. And we practice to be honest, makes perfect. And to be honest with you, we are a million times past where we thought we would be at yeah, this stage. Yeah. I've heard podcasts from other people and that are great podcasts now. And well, just like we were talking about a podcast I really like, the Hillbilly Horror Stories. They're, I love their podcasts. You know, if you mm-hmm. listen to them now, they sound great. Everything's perfect. They they do an right. excellent job. But they'll even tell you their first episodes were like shit. Yeah. And they'll tell you that. You know, get past the first few episodes, guys. Yeah. Tell, they say listen to to these good ones and then go back and listen to the bad ones. Right, right. <laughs> you know, that way mm-hmm. you can appreciate it. But like, we we're a lot farther than I thought we yeah. would be. Yeah. So. And I'm, we're gonna keep going. I mean, we we've got a lot in our heads that we want to get out. And, and there's gonna be um, additions to the. To the podcast, yeah. Um, uh, there's a lot of movies we want to talk about. You know, there's just there's too much to talk about, and every year at this time, this holiday is going to be here. So, so or yeah. you know, this is going to be one of our favorite. This is our first Halloween episode, and I mean, you know, we want to celebrate Halloween, so it might be a little, might, might be a little long, might be a little long or a little short, depending on how we how we feel. Yeah. But um, we're gonna try to really good specials on Halloween. Yeah. You know, um, that way we could put out the right, the correct respect that the yeah. holiday should get. Yeah. I think uh, as we go along, uh, you know, we're going to try and do some of these where, you know, we may go to Limp Mansion and do a live feed from Limp Mansion. 100% or we are. We may go to, you know, Crescent Hotel and do a live, you know, feed from there or the penitentiary. Uh, or places... That I know. That people don't even know about. Exactly. That I know that are haunted for sure. Like a friend of mine, she has a house and it's it's an old plantation house. And it's not going to be any Blair Witch shit or anything. No. Nope. Um, her house is for sure haunted. They lived there for years. Um, she's actually going, going to be on the show. She's going to be another host eventually. She's in the process of having twins right now. She may so. be the hostess with the mostest. She, she, you'll love her. I love her to death. She's like a, my sister. Um, she, we call They call us twins. You'll see pictures. I'll post them up. But uh, anyway, <coughs> anyway, um, she'll be on here and um, her house is super haunted and is so cool because people who show up there who ha- are not at all uh, believe in this. They they're skeptics to the fullest. They see things there, and I'm gonna save her story so she can tell it whenever yeah, she. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. And um, but I'm telling you, there's places that like that that I know of, and um, just, there's just so much. There's so much more to come. You think we can get Bree to come over here and hang out with us on the horror shack? Oh yeah, she loves it. She loves it. We call her. I call her Breezy. Breezy. That's her. That's her nickname. And she's she's awesome, guys. You'll love her. She's she's she'll she'll bring a huge, huge part of the show that that you'll like. I'm Tom, I promise you. I think it's gonna be cool. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Like I said, we're we're pushing on to bigger and better things. And there's gonna be. I may get tired and take a vacation. <laughs> He's never taken a vacation. No. I will not allow it. <laughs> I'm an asshole boss. <laughs> yeah, he is. Slave driver. Which And I'm not even a boss. We did this together, so no. No. <laughs> But um 
but yeah, and there's going to be other things that we're going to be incorporating some hunt, some different YouTube pages and stuff. It's it's just going to be really really cool. And yeah. I want to tell everybody thank you for who are listening. Thank you, and let everyone know. Put it out there. Let everybody know that you know. No matter if they like it or not, just put it out there. Tell them to give it a chance. Tell them whichever episode you like the best. Tell them to listen to it. Just give it a chance. And um, grab maybe, their phone and sign them up for it. Force them to listen to it. Yeah, man. Make it make it easier on them. Just sign them up for yourself. <laughs> but, Hold um, them down and spit on their. Fo- oh no no, 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 no. Wait, no. wait. That's a different story. Whoa. <laughs> but uh, but that's that's our goal, guys. And um. It being Halloween, you know, we just wanted to put out a little special episode to to talk to you guys about what yeah. we enjoy and yeah, for sure. I think we need to get out of here and go scare the crap out of kids. Yeah, and I'm ready to watch a movie up on the projector that you guys set up. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. So everybody from uh, Ryan and myself, happy, happy Halloween. Halloween, guys. <laughs> <laughs>